Right, hi there. So this is going to be a update review on the uh, AP Welding MMA 400. So I've had this for quite some time now, and I mean I've got to say it's been a good little machine. I've actually used this quite a lot. I use it outdoors mainly, and uh, you know to use it as a portable welder and take places when I need to use it. Uh, most of the time I'm just using 3.2 mil rods with it and it's worked fine for that but I have found that the display on here doesn't actually indicate what you're welding at and I have a sneaky suspicion that this machine is quite a bit underpowered even though it has worked flawlessly I've got to say and uh, I've had no trouble with it whatsoever. Uh, the fan on this is very noisy, it chucks out so much air it's ridiculous. So it keeps it keeps it really cool which is a good thing. But it is quite noisy as you might be able to hear, I don't know if I put the microphone closer to it. You'll probably be able to hear it. I just thought we'd take a quick look inside this. So I've took most of the screws out so you don't have to watch me take screws out. So I've always been pretty happy with this and I've never actually had a look inside it. So yeah, let's take a look. Just got two more screws to take out. Yeah, let's take a look. Oh my God. Well, I always knew it was lightweight, but uh, I thought there was a bit more than that in there. Whoa, this welder could have been half the size. That's interesting. Oh, I'm just going to take that bit off here. Right, see a bit better in there now. Um, so yeah, now it's got a tiny bridge rectifier in it up there. If you can see that, it's just down the back there. And then we've got two diodes in there. There's a heat sensor. Um, two capacitors. And down the bottom here, only got two transistors in here. As if. Um, the controller for the inverter is obviously down this side here this is all a one board design and there's a copper round transformer down there and we've got some a couple of buzz bars the buzz bars in this are actually thicker than in that TIG unit that I took a look at and that was 160 amps uh, so we've got an aluminium buzz bar and then we've got a copper one on this side which is quite interesting uh, yeah Surprised actually, I, thought, I always thought there was more in there than this. There's the back, and you can see the breaker up the top here, which is on the back. Yeah, pretty shocked at that actually. The welder could have been half the size. Oh, actually, down here, look. I don't know if you can see that, but down here there's some writing and it says 120, 130, 140 amp and then under it says ME-140 under case A. So yeah, this is obviously designed as like a minimum of a 120 amp machine up to a 140 amp. Yep, so let's test it out and see what the maximum output of this machine is. Yeah, so there we go, that's the AP welding, MMA 400 amp, <laughs> it says in the descriptions of this, so it's not a 400 amp machine, I mean I, I didn't think it probably was a 400, but I thought it was probably more like a 160 machine at least, I didn't think it was going to be a 120 amp machine, so it just goes to show, so... 
as you can see on that I've uh, put the amperage on here on the knob so we'll start off at 20 down here 30 50 70 90 100 and 120 down there so yeah uh, display is good for nothing so I think I'll put a piece of tape over that from now on not that I ever really used it anyway so yeah I think that looks better so yeah I don't know what to say really but uh, states it's a 400 amps but you can only actually get well my readings was 120 it may be around 140 but so would i recommend this to anybody uh no i wouldn't actually recommend it because there's other units which are 120 amps and they're smaller and they cost less so yeah i'm pretty disappointed actually it has been a good little welder i can't really say anything bad about it but when they display it at 400 I mean, I was at least expecting this was going to be a 160 to 180, but yeah, I couldn't believe it when I took the guts and I opened up and saw the guts inside it. Yeah, I always thought it felt a bit light, but I could never really bother to take it apart. But yeah, there you go. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Please give the video a thumbs up or whatever. Um, okay, bye.